Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog entry. It's me, John, back again. Today I'm actually testing something out for the very first time. Something that I will be using possibly much more often um, in future videos, vlogs, reviews, things of that nature. Now, some people probably, I don't know, some people out there probably think I've wasted my money on this. I didn't pay much for this. I actually picked it up for about seven quid. What I'm talking about is I have picked up a lighting um, a lighting ring. Now, some people out there that do things like do videos like mm -hmm. high profile, a lot of people use lighting rings, but they also use the big rigs, like the big massive uh, professional, like mass on a big tripod and the kind of like a big open like a tent basically with a bulb inside of it, and they have maybe one or two of those kind of like. At either side of them um, to light them or they have like neon lights and all that kind of jazz to make them look more professional now the light isn't on at the moment and I'm doing that on purpose um, because while I'm doing this vlog I will be turning it on and um, kind of seeing if there's a, a bit of a difference um, why I bought this is, you probably can tell right now, without the without the the lighting ring on, my camera is is currently up. My phone camera is having issues at the moment with focusing problems, and I had a comment on Instagram uh, regarding my last Transformers review, which was on Recluse. And uh, he thought it was a little bit off-putting, a little bit that my camera was, uh, you know, constantly trying to focus. Now I can't really do much about that. Um, I generally think there's an issue with my camera um, on my phone. Um, I think this could be a possibly a, like a sensory problem, which is causing it to kind of spasm. Um, when you know with different lighting um, so I thought to try this I mean it might not work it might improve a little bit but I bought this because I've been wanting to buy something like a lighting rig um, of course this is nothing major this is like basic for I mean, obviously like taking photos um, you can, obviously you can use it in video making as well, but I gen genuinely don't have the room to get the professional stuff. And yes, I could probably get myself a bigger one of these lighting rings because you can get fucking massive ones. Um, so yeah, I've been talking too much as, as it is, but basically I'm just going to show you the box of the one that I got. And uh, it's by a company called Ellie, G Ellie Giant, Ellie, Ellie Giant, I believe, and it's a uh, 120 LEDs, and it's a 10.2 inch aluminium tripod stand selfie ring light. Um, on the back here, it states that you can obviously use, like, it's, there's a phone holder. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm playing around with different options. Um, the actual ring comes with a with a phone holder that is that is bendable uh, right in the center of the ring now I wear glasses which many of you uh, will not be very uh, surprised to know because um, I've you know I've worn glasses literally my entire life practically um, and the problem is with things like this it went you, you're putting a light in your face, it will cause a reflection on the lens of the of my glasses. So what I'm doing is I'm using two tripods in this vlog just to test it out to see if I can minimise the risk of lens glare on my glasses. Um, 
So basically what I've done here is this comes with a tripod itself, like I just said. Um, so what I've done is I've attached the little tripod that come that came with the lighting rig to an, an adapter for my phone. So that is literally right in front of me right now. And then I've got the lighting ring behind it, behind the camera, mm -hmm. and a little bit up above the camera. So my, my my phone is like lower, and this is elevated a little bit more. And it's actually on my bendy tripod, um, which actually does fit it quite well. So the the so you can kind of use other tripods if you want to on this, if anyone's interested. So looking on the back here, um, it's powered by USB, and I'm currently using my power brick to power the light. Um, so you can use it horizontal in a horizontal position if you wanted to do like a, like take a photo or like a selfie or if you wanted to do something for like Facebook or Instagram where you, you, know, you can do a horizontal position or you can do it like you know a regular video format if you wished as well. It comes with a remote control on the lead and uh, it goes through all the different functions now this has fr this light ring has three lighting modes it has like a like a like a roomy kind of like more like a yellowy color then it has a full on bright white version and then it ha you know so basically there's like three three lighting modes also it gives you the option to be able to um put the light more stronger or lower so you can kind of uh, you know you can kind of change the strength of the bulb as well so yeah so yeah so you can power this via either a USB charger cable mobile phone power banks um, laptops and desktop computers so yeah it's a versatile thing so you can use this with a webcam if you wished um, so these are perfect, these little rings, they are perfect for things like live streams, which I'm considering on using this a lot more often. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a difficult thing to try and use this on, on the live streams because I, I don't have as much space in my, my computer cabinet. So, so that's basically this kind of, you know, you know self-explanatory so that's the box and what you know that's that so i'm just going to turn the camera around just slightly so this is what it looks like um it's actually made out of aluminium and plastic uh the bulb itself i have actually already tried the bulb and it is bright as hell so it is actually pretty decent um but that's what it looks like and it has an, an adjustable thing there on the tripod stand so you can move you can adjust the angle of this ring light uh, but it's literally just on, on, on my bendy tripod some people that understand lighting when it comes to cameras will probably be screaming at me now this is just a this is i'm i'm just testing the waters because if i was to put <clears throat> my camera on the adapter that's in the middle I would get lens glare and I wanted to try and try different try and see if I can get different uh, angles let's turn this on and let's see if you can notice a big difference there we go help if I turn the power bank on here we go so that is pretty bright so if I wanted to I can turn it down so that is literally as 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 far as it will go lower, and that will this is as high as it will go above. And if you notice that this is perfect because it does because if I look up you will see the ring in my lenses, but like this if I keep try and keep my you know if I try and you know keep myself to a minimum, I you know it it helps stop the lens glare a little bit. So this is, um, I don't know which mode this is. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is the the, the white bulb. Um, 
version. I don't know. This is the like full on white bulb. Um, so like a day daylight kind of bulb. And then this is the warming. And then that's like a nice welcoming kind of bulb. I don't understand the differences. But anyway, so I am the, the the autofocus is still kind of causing problems, but it's mostly because I'm so let's I may not be able to do anything about it. Uh I generally think my camera is knackered. But I want I wanted to get this just for future uh, future anyways because I will I'm gonna probably replace this phone at some point with a new one some point in the future um, I just think I think the sensor is probably on the way out I can always I can already see that it is still pulsating trying to trap me um, so let's see if I can just bring it down at one more and there we go <laughs> so yeah, it's still doing it, but yeah, the way that I'm doing it, it is minimising the lens glare because I'm looking at the camera below the ring and it's still illuminating me quite nicely. Um, so if I turn it up literally to the max, that is literally... I've got the main light on in my living room as well, which you can tell in the background is more yellow, um, but yet... Yeah, it is really lighting me up really quite nicely. You are supposedly supposed to have the camera right there, like that. But if you notice, that's going to be the problem. And that's going to be a little bit off-putting for people watching. So, um, some people will probably make a, you know, take the piss and say, Take your glasses off! Then I won't be able to see what I'm doing, will I? So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. That's my new lighting ring. Um, so let's just see if changing to a different bulb. You know, so that's more softer, and then that's a nice, yet yeah, like a nice warming yellow, uh, like a, like a more yellowy bulb color. So yeah, it's a good little thing. It works well, um, but unfortunately, like I say, I can't really do much about the pulsating thing um i generally thought it was just because it was poor lighting natural lighting in, in in my house but it seems that even though i've got this source which is focusing on me it is still doing it but anyway so that's that bit of the vlog um i just because literally i've I literally i've only had this a couple of days and i when I first when it first arrived, I literally just took it out the took it out the uh, box, made I just checked to make sure it worked. It did, and this is the first time trying it in a video. So yeah, I'm still getting the issue with the annoyingness. So I, all I can all I can say is I can't do much about it, except for you know spending money that I don't have on a new phone or a dedicated camera. And I don't have the money to do that at the moment. So unfortunately, you're going to have to be patient with me. Those people that watch my reviews and maybe a little bit annoyed because of the you know, the lens, uh, you know the you know the uh, autofocus is constantly going like this whenever I move or whenever I put a, a figure in front of it. Plus, this this is going to be perfect for my figure reviews because I'll be able to put. You know, it'll show all the nice detailing off quite nicely, and it'll just help to, you know, give give a little bit more to, to mm -hmm. my reviews and other videos that I do. What have I been up to? Um, working mostly. Um, which is nothing really uh, surprising. So yeah, lens flare. So. Uh, <laughs> So uh, yeah, so I've been working. I've been um, just chilling out, watching some of the football. Um, you know, watching the Euros on TV. I watched England versus Germany this evening. Or yeah, this evening. England, come on, England, we won two nil. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, so that was a good game. I enjoyed that. 
and uh, I'm at work again tomorrow. So I've been kind of like TV-wise, uh, like Netflix and everything. I've been trying to kind of um, catch up on some or rewatch and catch up on some anime. Um, I'm currently rewatching an anime called Sereth of the End. I've already seen it, but I absolutely loved it the first time around. So I thought, you know, bugger it, I'm gonna watch it again. So I'm currently watching it for a second time, and I'm really enjoying that. Um, I finished um, Demon Slayer, uh, which I think I've already mentioned in a previous vlog. Um, so yeah, I've just literally just been chilling out in my spare time, watching some football. Oh yeah, um, the other day now, um, I went out, um, what day are we on today? Bloody hell, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> We're on Tuesday, aren't we? Yes, so it would have been Saturday? Yes, it was. Saturday. So Saturday just gone. Seriously, seriously, I just don't know where I am with the days. I really don't. I just, you know, the days are just going away from me. Um, sorry, I can't resist. Boo, boo. Anyway, so yeah, um, so Saturday just gone. Um, I, people that follow me on my social medias, Instagram and uh, Facebook, would uh, have already. Have probably most likely would have seen the photos that I shared um so yeah I went I got invited to um a colleague of mine um it was her birthday a couple of days before we all went out um and it was kind of for her birthday obviously and uh, so yes yeah, we went out I was invited um invited to go by uh, the woman that was organizing it so yeah um it went out it wasn't supposed to be a late one, really. It wasn't really a very late one, but um, but uh, yeah, I didn't get home till about what time did I get home? Was it about tenish? About roughly about ten half ten because I was having to wait around for a taxi. Um, you know, with it being a Saturday evening, so yeah, uh, that happened. So I went out for a few drinks uh, with some work friends. Some of my colleagues had a real good laugh, had a good time. Um, you know, I don't get out that often when it comes to you know social kind of events like that. Um, it's quite rare whenever anything like that comes up, and I get invited to <laughs> to go to them. So yeah, it's like it's only been like the second time that I've actually been invited to a, a work night out, and I say it like that because it's not on the both of them that I've been invited to wasn't official works nights out you know what i mean it's not like you want a night out that was organized by the, the place that i work for so it was just kind of a group of people that wanted to just you know go somewhere and have a good laugh so yeah so i had a good time uh, which was a nice little bit of breath of fresh air a nice little way to you know just let the hair down so to speak and just relax and chill and have a good laugh and it was uh it was great it was great to do that and i uh you know i uh, appreciate being invited out <clears throat> so yeah so that was that um so yeah that's literally been my week uh or that's literally been me since the last vlog i did um so yeah that's that. So I'm going to bring the vlog to an end now. The whole idea of this vlog was generally just to test out this lighting ring. Um, if anybody has any ideas of how I can kind of... Um, ways that I can kind of improve um, the lighting ring. Like what angles I could try in the future. Please let me know in the comments. Um, you know, some people would be like, you know, it would be better if you would have got one of the one of these lights or one of these lights. I understand there's going to be people out there that follow me that understand cameras more and how to light things a little bit more. I understand the world certainly will be people like that that follow me. But end of the day, I've got limited space. And I really can't, I haven't got enough room to have a studio, you know. If if you look at a lot of the people that collect stuff, they have a dedicated collection room 
<clears throat> they have like a dedicated collection room or they have enough room in order to kind of have a little space somewhere to have like a light, uh, some sort of lighting apparatus or multiple lights set up so that they can make good videos and it be a nice clear picture. Um, not everybody that do videos on YouTube do this, but I wanted to try it because um, I mean, you know, my, the lighting situation in my bedroom um the the light in there is terrible i mean i didn't really have to do this i could have just done a simple thing of just getting a light a different light bulb fitted in my uh upstairs but i do actually have a different light bulb fitted upstairs which is actually not a yellow one it's actually is kind of like a similar kind of bulb to what's in like in there uh, in the lighting ring and but I'm still experiencing the problems because my my ceiling uh, the ceiling in my bedroom is actually quite you know my literally my bedroom is practically like a square um so it's kind of like the light uh, there's like a lampshade of 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 a you know like a light lampshade thing and it's literally whenever I stand anywhere or I tried to do a video in my bedroom it literally kind of shines it and it kind of like you know it kind of causes issues with the camera so it's, it, it really starts to spasm really badly so that's why i went for this because that hopefully will help out a little bit with the lighting situation in my bedroom because this is where it's going to be i'm going to kind of probably keep it in my bedroom and now and again i might bring it downstairs whenever i want to do a vlog or something else but uh, I might see if I can try and work it out with my live streams in the future as well. Um, but we'll wait. We'll see. Um, because, it, yeah, yeah, we'll wait and see. Because it, it really just does depend on how I can kind of angle it so that... But, I mean, I could just generally put it to, one, to, to the side of me on my bed or something like that. I just have it kind of... Oh, I don't know. But I'll work some out. I'll work some out. Don't worry about it. But anyway, so thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you very much for watching the vlog. And, uh, yeah. Till next time, I'll be back with more vlogs and more videos. And, um, yeah. Also, I'm con uh, just one last thing before I go. I am contemplating or considering on doing art live streams on my main channel my tf nosy channel um so yeah if any because i obviously i do a little bit of artwork i'm not great i'm not like a professional i'm still i'm very much an amateur um but i'm practicing and i'm generally thinking of kind of like doing live streams of like showing how i kind of draw what i draw from like scratch um, but I'm going to have to kind of work out how I can do that because my, obviously with a, my webcam, it, yeah, <laughs> it's not like a webcam that you can take off and you can kind of like attach it to a little tripod or whatever like that. Um, yeah, my webcam isn't like that. It kind of clamps onto the, onto the monitor. Um, and if I was to move it or try and angle it, uh, it's not going to work and I need to be on my, my PC in order to live stream through YouTube so again mm -hmm. this is something that I'm going to have to work out at some point uh, but uh, if, if if people that watch this vlog are interested in that possibly in the future let me know in the comments and um, I will see what I can do and try and make it, make it happen um, I personally would like to do that because I would like to show people generally the techniques and kind of how I kind of you know do you know where from like very rough to finished pitch uh, drawing um, and also it's a good way to get some interaction from other people and say you know what you know why don't you try this or why don't you try that and it, it will help me in the long run and hopefully it'll probably give you an you know, entertain you guys which is uh, you know the main thing but anyway thank you very much and I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.